Hello everyone! Welcome in today's episode of DEPA TV. All new and interesting topics in Mathematics 10 awaits you. Hey, it's me, your math buddy, Sir Jason Flores also. It's so awesome to have you in this new episode. Are you all set? Are you ready? Well, let's begin a fun and interesting lesson. After going through this episode, you are expected to first divide polynomials using long and synthetic division and second solve word problems that involve dividing of polynomials. Yes, polynomials. Do you know that engineers use polynomials when designing roads, buildings, and other structures? Likewise, economists used it to model economic growth patterns. To understand more about polynomials, let's have this problem. During a school fundraising activity, Anna was able to generate a total of x cubed minus 9x minus 3x squared plus 27 pesos from selling candies. If each candy costs x plus 3 pesos, how many candies were she able to sell? To find the number of candies, we can divide the polynomials using either long division or synthetic division. To show you how to divide polynomials using long division, we will use the polynomials specified in the problem. That is, to divide x cubed minus 9x minus 3x squared plus 27 by x plus 3. Follow these steps. Solution First, arrange the polynomials in descending powers of x and write in the form dividend divided by the divisor. If there are missing terms, replace it with zero. So our given here is our p of x, which is the dividend, is x cubed minus 9x minus 3x squared plus 27, and our divisor or d of x is x plus 3. Notice that the terms are not arranged in descending powers, so we will try to arrange this and it will be x cubed then minus 3x squared minus 9x plus 27 divided by x plus 3. Next, divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor to get the first term of the quotient. That is, x cubed divided by x. Again, when we divide these terms, we are subtracting the exponents. So 3 minus 1 here will give us x squared. Next, multiply the divisor by the first term of the quotient. When we multiply x squared and x, we will simply add the exponents. So that's x, 2 plus 1 will give us 3 or x cubed. Then x squared times 3 will give us positive 3 x squared. Then subtract the product from the dividend, then bring down the next term. In this case, we will subtract these two and these two terms also. So when we subtract these terms, we will change the sign of the subtrahend to its opposite. So your positive 3x will be negative and your x cubed will give us negative x cubed. Then proceed to addition rules x cubed plus negative x cubed will give us 0, so we'll just cancel these terms. Negative 3x squared plus negative 3x squared 
that's negative 6x squared and then bring down the remaining terms that's negative 9x plus 27 this will be our new dividend repeat steps 2 to 4 this time the difference and the next term will be the new dividend so we will divide negative 6x squared with the first term which is x that will give us negative 6x multiply negative 6x times x that's correct that's negative 6x squared negative 6x times 3 all right that's negative 18x then subtract change the sign of your subtrahend that is this will become positive 18x and this will become correct positive 6x squared then proceed to negative 6x squared plus positive 6x squared is equal to 0 so we can cancel these terms next we have negative 9x plus positive 18x the terms are unlike so we will subtract their absolute values we will give us 9x positive and let's bring down positive 27 9x divided by x will give us correct that's positive 9 9 times x is equal to 9x 9 times 3 will give us 27 then subtract change the sign of your subtrahend to its opposite so your positive 27 will be negative and your 9x will also be negative then proceed to addition rules 9x plus negative 9x will give us 0 which we can cancel these terms and 27 plus negative 27 is 0 therefore our quotient or q of x for this problem is x squared minus 6x plus 9 in general when a polynomial is divided by another polynomial, we express the result in the following form. P of x divided by d of x is equal to q of x plus r of x divided by d of x, where p of x is the dividend, d of x, which is not equal to zero, is the divisor, q of x is the quotient and r of x is the remainder there is more efficient way of dividing polynomials if the divisor is a linear binomial in the form x minus a this method is called synthetic division how about if we try using this method in dividing the polynomial in our example earlier well let's do this Let's find out if synthetic and long division will give us the same quotient. Just like long division, arrange the polynomials first in descending powers and write zero as coefficient of any missing term. As you can see in our given, p of x or the dividend x cubed minus 9x minus 3x squared plus 27 is not arranged in decreasing power of x. When we use synthetic division, we will follow the same rule as to long division, that is, to arrange the powers in decreasing manner. So that is, x cubed. Then the next one is, correct, negative 3x squared. Then we'll have, deep 9x and the constant term which is 27 then we're good to go write the coefficient of the polynomials for x cubed we have 1 
Then we have negative 3, negative 9, and we have positive D7. The divisor or D of X is X plus 3. But remember, the divisor should be in the form X minus A. So we will use A is equal to negative 3 or the opposite of X plus 3. We will use negative 3 here. Then we can start dividing. First bring down 1. Multiply 1 to negative 3 will give us negative 3. Negative 3 plus negative 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 3 is equal to positive 18. Negative 9 plus 18 is equal to positive 9. And 9 times negative 3 is equal to negative 27. And 27 plus negative 27 is equal to 0. The degree of the quotient is 1 less than the degree of the dividend. In this case, 1, negative 6, and 9 are the coefficient of the quotient, and 0 is the remainder. Thus, the quotient, or Q of x, for this problem is equal to x squared, 6x plus 9. In this example, we were able to see that both long division and synthetic division yield the same answer. Now, let's try this problem. The area of a rectangle is 4x raised to 4 plus 4x cubed plus 4x squared plus 2x plus 1 square centimeter. If the length of the rectangle is 2x squared plus 1 centimeter, what is the width of the rectangle? Again, our given P of x or the dividend is 4x raised to 4 plus 4x cubed plus 4x squared plus 2x plus 1. And our divisor or d of x is 2x squared plus 1. Notice that our dividend is already arranged in decreasing powers of x. So there's no need for us to rearrange the terms. Now let's use long division to solve for this problem. We will write first our dividend. That is 4x is to 4 plus 4x cubed plus 4x squared plus 2x plus 1 divided by our divisor which is 2x squared plus 1. First, let's divide the first term 4x raised to 4 divided by 2x squared. When we divide these terms, the exponents will be subtracted so 4x raised to 4 divided by 2x squared will give us 2x squared. Next, multiply 2x squared and 2x squared. When you multiply these terms, the exponents will be added. So 2x squared times 2x squared is 4x raised to 4. 2x squared times 1 will give us positive 2x squared and we will write it in here. Align the same terms. Next, we will subtract 4x raised to 4, 4x raised to 4. But before that, remember to change the terms of your subtrahend to its opposite. So your positive 2x squared will become negative. And your 4x raised to 4 will also be negative and proceed to 
addition rules. 4x raised to 4 plus negative 4x raised to 4 is 0, so we can cancel these terms. 4x squared plus negative 2x squared. They are unlike, so subtract their absolute values. 4 minus 2 is actually 2x squared. What will happen is to bring down the remaining terms. That is 4x cubed. This is positive 2x squared. And we will have positive 2x and 1. This will be our new dividend. Let's repeat the first step, that is dividing the first term for x cubed by 2x squared. It will give us positive 2x and 2x times 2x squared will give us positive 4x cubed. 2x times 1 will give us, alright, positive 2x and we'll write in here. Then we will subtract the terms. Again, remember to change the sign of your subtrahend to its opposite. Positive 2x will be negative. And for x cubed will become negative. Then proceed to addition rules. For x cubed plus negative 4x cubed is 0. So let's cancel these terms. 2x squared, let's bring it down here, positive 2x plus negative 2x is 0, we can also cancel these terms, and what's left here is positive 1. Again, this is our new dividend. Divide this, 2x squared, with the first term 2x squared will give us positive 1, 1 times 2x squared will give us 2x squared, 1 times 1 is equal to 1, subtract, change the sign of your subtrahend, so this will become negative 1, okay, and this will be negative 2x squared, then proceed to addition rules. 2x squared plus negative 2x squared is 0. Let's cancel this. And 1 positive plus negative 1 is equal to 0. Thus, the quotient in this problem, or q of x, is equal to 2x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now, if you can see, the divisor 2x squared plus 1 is not a linear term since it has 2 as degree of polynomial. Therefore, synthetic division cannot be used in this type of polynomial. Take note, synthetic division can only be used when the divisor is a linear term such as x minus 1, x plus 2, 2x minus 5, etc. Let's have this problem to practice our skills in dividing polynomials using synthetic division. Do you want to give it a try? Well, let's do this together. Maha works 2x plus 1 hours as a service crew in a fast food chain. She earns 2x cubed plus 9x squared minus 2x minus 3 pesos today. How much does Maha earn per hour? In this example, the leading coefficient of the divisor is not 1. Hence, divide both terms of the divisor by 2 so that it will be in the form x minus a. So, the new divisor will now be x plus 1 half. First, let's write the coefficient of the polynomials. That's 2, 
9, negative 2, and negative 3. The divisor is x plus 1 half, so we will use a is equal to negative 1 half. Next, perform synthetic division. Let us first bring down the first term, which is 2. Then we will multiply 2 to 1 half, so that's negative 1. Then add these terms, 9 plus negative 1 will give us positive 8. Repeat the process, negative 1 half times positive 8 will actually give us negative 4. Then add these terms, negative 2 plus negative 4 will give us negative 6. Negative 1 half times negative 6 will give us positive 3. And negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Is this your final answer? It's not. Identify the quotient and the remainder. Our quotient is 2x squared plus 8x minus 6 with 0 remainder. Since the divisor 2x plus 1 was divided by 2 to get a is equal to negative 1 half, then divide every terms in the quotient except remainder by 2. Dividing this by 2, we will get x squared plus divided by 2, that is 4x negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. How's that? Awesome! <laughs> now, let's move to the last problem. This time, we will use both long division and synthetic division. Come on, let's do it. Pedro bought 8x cubed plus 27 pesos worth of tokens for your classroom Christmas party. If each token is worth x plus 2 pesos, how many tokens did Pedro bought? Let's divide 8x cubed by x to give us 8x squared. 8x squared times x will give us 8x cubed. 8x squared times 2 will give us positive 16 x squared. Let's subtract. But before that, remember to change the sign of your subtrahend to its opposite. So 16x squared positive will be negative and 8x cubed will also become negative. 8x cubed then proceed to addition rules. 8x cubed plus negative 8x cubed is equal to 0. Let's cancel these terms. 0 plus negative 16x squared is negative 16x squared. Bring down all the remaining terms, 0 and 27. This will be our new dividend. So we'll start dividing the first term, negative 16x squared, by x. That is negative 16x. Negative 16x times x is negative 16x squared. Negative 16x times positive 2 is equal to negative 32x. Again, let's subtract these terms. Change the sign of your subtrahend to its opposite. Negative 32 will be positive 32x. And negative 16x squared will become positive. Then proceed to addition rules. Negative 16x squared plus positive 16x squared is equal to 0. So this will be cancelled. 0 plus positive 
32x will be equal to, that's right, positive 32x. Then bring down 27. Again, this will be our new dividend. So let's divide the first term. 32x divided by x is equal to, all right, positive 32. 32 times x is equal to, all right, positive 32x. And 32 times 2 all right, that is positive 64. Subtract, change the sign of your subtrahend to its opposite. So positive 64 will become negative 64. And 32x will become negative 32x. And let's proceed to addition rules. 32x plus negative 32x is 0. Let's cancel this one. Positive 27 plus negative 64 will give us negative 37. Take note that we cannot divide 37, negative 37 by x. So negative 37 now will be our remainder. So the remainder is negative 37 over x plus Thus, the quotient for this problem using long division is 8x squared minus 16x plus 32, remainder negative 37 over x plus 2. Observing the divisor, is it a linear polynomial? Yes, it is. Hence, we can use synthetic division for this. Let's try. First, let's write the coefficients of the polynomials. Again, our dividend is still 8x cubed plus 27. But there are missing terms. So what do we do if there are missing terms? That's correct. We replace the missing terms with zero. In this case, let us start with eight. Then we have no quadratic term, so we will replace it with zero. Next, we don't have also a linear term from the dividend, so we will write again zero and our constant, which is 27. The divisor is x plus 2. So again, we will use the divisor in the form x minus a. Thus, our a will be equal to negative 2. So let's use negative 2 as our divisor. Then, we can start dividing using synthetic division, that is to bring down the first term, which is 8. And 8 times negative 2 is negative 16. Write it here. 0 plus negative 16 is equal to negative 16. Negative 16 times negative 2 is positive 32. 0 plus 32 is equal to 32. And 32 times negative 2 is equal to negative 64. And 27 plus negative 64 will give us negative 37. Thus, the quotient of the problem using synthetic division, that's q of x, is 8 
x squared minus 16x plus 32. Remainder, negative 37 over x plus 2. Thus, Pedro by 8x squared minus 16x plus 32, remainder negative 37 over x plus 2 tokens for his classroom Christmas party. Therefore, Pedro bought 8x squared minus 16x plus 32, remainder negative 37 over x plus 2 tokens for his classroom Christmas party. Also, you can notice that when we use long division and synthetic division, it yields the same answer. Did you get the same answers? Oh, so awesome! Congratulations! I hope you learned a lot. Just keep doing your best in everything you do. I know, there is more to you than meets the eye. And that concludes our lesson for today. See you again on the next episode. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the DepEd TV official YouTube channel. This has been your Sir Jason Flores. Also, bear in mind that learning math will always be fun and easy. Be also, be awesome. Only here on DepEd TV.